Well, a filmmaker from Cameroon has released a movie on the difficulties of living in America as an immigrant and the desire to stay in the U.S. legally. The film, Coming from Africa, is the creation of Blaise Christian Sichet, who also stars in the movie. The story is about an African immigrant, Jonathan Kemaju, grappling with the possibility of returning to his homeland after six years in the United States if he fails to extend his work permit, which expires within six months. He grapples with the thought of uprooting his wife and daughter and starting afresh. But as Kamaju explores his options, he learns that the process will not be easy. And joining us now to, in the studio to actually talk more about this movie is Blaise Christian Sichet himself, the creator and actor of Coming From Africa. Thank you for joining us and congratulations on your movie. Thank you very much. So I know I ended up uh, just leaving the audience hanging there about the difficulties. What did you, in a nutshell, what did you find? in this movie? What did I find? In terms of the process, the difficulties in trying to be legal. Okay, the difficulties are, uh, first of all, uh, uh, it's about the length mm -hmm. of the process. It's a stress. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for example, the situation is pending, mm -hmm. and you don't know what's going on, and uh, everything, you, you just go out of control. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's a stress mm -hmm. involved in that. So, of course, he tells his wife, which is difficult enough, and then he has to find a lawyer. The lawyer gives him several options. What are those options? Options are, for example, um, to uh, get uh, the sponsorship from the okay. workplace mm -hmm. and uh, to get asylum, if he's qualified for, mm -hmm. to marry an American woman. He's, he has to get divorced because he's married, and to, um, to ask for... to win the Loro Green card, mm -hmm. eventually at the end that's what he gets, <laughs> something, and other options too, yes. It's a, funny, it's a funny movie, and yet at the same time it's such a serious topic as we've been hearing about the immigration reform debates going on. What inspired you to do it? Was it a personal story of yours, or this is what you just see people talking about all the time? I have that question a lot, you know, to tell that it's a personal story, it can be too, it's a dangerous adventure because <laughs> I can, you know, the immigration going to say, oh, that's a bad guy because I did it. In the movie, I did a lot of bad things there. So it's, uh, yeah, part of the story is real, it's me, you know. But, and then it's uh, also, as I said earlier, it's a puzzle of different experiences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to condense and consolidate everything in one story. Now, I mentioned earlier that you're also the actor in this movie, and you yes. want to play a little clip which is talking about, first, you trying to get your, your work to sponsor you, and then also telling your wife. So we're going to just run that clip, and you can comment on it in a few. Okay. All right. I don't have any option, you know? I want my family to stay here. I love this country. Okay, I'll tell you what. I am gonna give you a chance, all right? Okay, thank you. I'll talk to the big boss and see what he says. Now, I cannot guarantee you anything. Why don't I get divorced to you artificially and then get married to somebody else and then get married to you so what? we can stay here in America? <laughs> Excuse me? I know ludicrous as that scene sounds, that actually are conversations that happen sometimes yes. because of people trying to stay here. Yes, of course. And you trying to portray that in the movie, or are you hoping to just communicate the difficulties that people have to endure? Yes, I, I hope that by communicating that difficulties, the immigration or uh, people working for the immigration are going to see that and try to speed up the process, mm -hmm. you know, because we are all human beings. We don't want to get go through stress, extreme mm -hmm. stress, which can tear apart families mm -hmm. when we are going through that. Now, I see a lot of uh, people being interested in this movie, especially Africans, and of course, all the immigrants. Uh, so how are you distributing it? it? How are you showing this movie? Absolutely. Where is it to be seen? I'm premiering uh, the movie in each state. Mm -hmm. I'm about to fly to California um, uh, in a few hours mm -hmm. and uh, to promote it as well. Uh, so, uh, to, uh, first of all, I have a website already put in place, you know, mm -hmm. uh, www.internationalfilm.us, internationalfilm.us, with that S, with that, uh, yeah, that US, and also uh, the distribution, the DVD okay. will come uh, soon. You okay, know, you, I guess people will be able to purchase it through your website. Exactly. Tell me what, in a very few seconds, what you personally learned from making this movie. What I did learn... Uh, uh, you played the role pretty well. With your, you, know, you grew out your hair and you looked so distressed. What did you learn? What I did learn in this movie, first of all, um, this is my second movie. 
I did learn how to be a better actor. I did learn how to manage people because as a, an executive producer, a producer is a very stressful job, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, that's why you see I have a gray hair as well. I did <laughs> have to cut it because, you know, it's just a stress. I know now how to be a better filmmaker. Okay. I have more movies coming up. All right. Well, yeah. let us know all about them. Yes. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Of course, it. joining us, this is Blaze Christian Sichet, a filmmaker from Cameroon and also an actor in the movie Coming from Africa.